they get the farms and lane going their lanes going their way, it does seem like they should just be able to take over. We'll find out very, yeah. very soon. Yeah, it definitely seems that way. I think the one thing about the alchemists that we do tend to see nowadays as well is that a lot of them go for an early fighting build. Uh, not many of them really rush that Radiance anymore, at least from the games I recall us seeing the Alchemist. It has been a bit of time since we last saw this hero, but the last time we did, I think uh, the option was mainly on a fight heavy build. They do come line around six. I think they try to go for an early Yasha and power treads and get that going instead of the Radiance Rush. Although some people do s seem to go back to that Radiance Rush as well. I think if you do go for a fighting build, especially with the timing of that level 10 talent, you can do a lot of work with the Elk. Like, uh, it does help tie in your early aggression as well. You're not going to stop scaling either because you're going to be able to upgrade your Jug, you're going to be able to upgrade your Shaker with those Agnums for free. And, you know, the Alchemist does do decently well in fights as the game goes on. No natural counter from Newbie, as you mentioned yourself, so no need to worry about an AA in this game, although... Um, spirit Vessels are fairly quick to build up. That they are. 30 seconds to battle. You be moving in to that bot bounty rune. Raven is going to be there and does of course have the level 1 spin. So can try to take it and run away while that spin is still ongoing. They are picking up the, uh, the banner rune up towards the north side where nobody's really watching it. And Raven will go ahead and try to snipe that one for the team though. A1, he's going to start threatening with the darks here. The battle begins. Meanwhile, top lane, Mello, should be able to secure his own banner rune, and he does, and should be able to get the secondary one as well. That'll mean a two-for-two two trade. Nobody really falling here either. Both teams will go and settle for their lanes. And if things stay the rema if things remain the way they are, Geek Fam, it looks like they're going to be running an aggressive tri-lane down in the bot lane. Unless they do rotate Zephyr over on the Earthshaker. Definitely not going to be the easiest of lanes though for this Jug. Being up against that Dark Sea, those Iron Shells are going to be very annoying. Yeah, it, it's definitely not going to be a fun time. No matter what, like even then, A1 can just kind of creep cut of course. We have seen that to great effect. And that does mean Raven will have to be contesting these last hits under Tower. Now, we aren't seeing that quite yet. But they already missed out on that one range creep because of the toss back from WayC. So, already a pretty nice start for a newbie, at least in terms of these small trades at bot lane. Raven, go for an early spin onto A1. Dish out a bit of damage. YG is still there, ready to go if necessary, though. Nice Fisher block is there onto YG. He's being blocked up as well by Mushi, so this could be the first blood. He does toss back the jug the other way, in fact. Can he get himself out of this one? He does have some nice passive region with the three mangoes, but it looks like this should be the first blood, and it will be. Mushi will go ahead and pick that one up on the Bane, and that was just a great setup coming out from Zephyr. Definitely is. You really have to be aware of this Earthshaker's positioning. Because he can just block you in like that, and there's suddenly nothing you can really do about it. Gotta be very conscious about Sephir. He's gonna be the key uh, hero for maintaining that aggression early on in this lane. So, gotta keep eyes out for that guy. It does look like he is just walking around, keeping track of Wazy. Gonna be spotting out that pull. Oh, nice toss back into the Ancients, though. Zephyr. It's a bit of damage. Meanwhile, though, nothing to say going to be in trouble. S Triple C making a bit of a chase. Does actually get the stun off as well. Dragon Slave is there. He can throw it out now, but the salve came oh, out just no. in time. At the very least, he does waste one salve from nothing to say. And YC is going to continue chasing. Meanwhile, though, top lane Velo may be in trouble. He's going to be chased down. GG has a slide of fist and will find the kill. So a nice pick up there up at the top lane. Meanwhile, A1 has overextended. Zephyr will make the chase, but will give up once the Tiny shows up again. Now back to that mid well, kill attempt. Nothing to say, he was so close to falling. SCCC just not realizing that Dragon Slave would have done the job and really gave him about one second to get that salve off, and it was just enough. Yeah, I felt a bit greedy from SCCC to hold out on that slave that long. He had it for a long time. I think after that LSA came down, he should have just launched it. That might have been enough to give him that kill. 
nonetheless, it does force nothing to say to really keep buying this region. So I guess in the end, that's actually a bigger loss for this alchemist than straight up dying. Yeah, and S Triple C is farming very well in this laner. Of course, nothing to say is keeping up, but again, it's all that region he has to buy up, just wasting all that gold. It's definitely worthwhile for him to remain in this lane anyway, so it's, he's not doing the wrong thing on the Alchemist, but... It's Triple C definitely going to make it as hard as possible. Bot lane, Awen. Mushi gets tossed back into the T1 tower, and now they're just going to slowly chase him down with that Iron Shell just being blocked up. Mushi, can he juke his way out of this one? It looks like he pretty much can, Raven. He'll move forward on the Jug, and now with the spin, the Surge may not be enough, but a nice toss back from YG just before the Fissure connects, though YC will have to end up dying because of this. He does throw out a oh. nice avalanche, and it might actually be enough. He does run into the tree line as well. Can he juke them out? It looks like he actually wow. can, though Mushi is continuing nope. the chase, but gets tossed out as Ooh. well. Man. That is tight. That is some tight gameplay coming out from WZ. Saves the Darkseer, saves himself. Sure, they have to abandon the lane for a bit, but they don't give anything the way of Geek Fam. And again, this tri lane investment from Geek Fam is it's securing their Jug's farm, but it's not really finding those early kills. Now, forcing these very costly walkbacks might be enough to give them a good start here, but we do have the Soul Ring up on Ewen now. Which means that the Iron Shell spam is self-sustainable. It certainly is. Still, it looks like Raven hasn't had the most difficulty taking out those Iron Shell creeps. He is 27 last hits and 11 denies on that jug. Though, Tossback is there into the T1 tower. It won't really matter though, he'll just run his, himself out. He does have the phase boost available. Avalanche being thrown out, YC just making sure he gets himself that Bounty Rune. It will be a 3 for 1 trade on those bounties this time around, and again, you be finding that little positive trade. But overall, it doesn't really feel like it's the laning stage is really working out as well as Newbie would have hoped. Again, Raven is starting to look rather scary on that Juggernaut, especially with all that farm he's getting. You could say the same for the Ember Spirit, who is also doing basically the same, but... It doesn't really feel like the Ember has as much impact as the Jug does when he's farmed up. I think it's... I, I feel like the Ember has just as much, if not more, impact, especially early on. Again, that global presence is not something you can underestimate. We saw that to great effect in the first series of day, and that certainly here still does a lot of work. Uh, I think his timings are actually much earlier than the Jugs. Just again, from all that magic damage, you can't pump out. So you will have to watch out for Gia Gia to be online maybe a bit earlier than the Jug. As long as he gets that 6 and maybe one mid-game item, he should be ready to help around the map. They might find Mushi here down at the bot lane, though. Mushi doesn't really throw out the Avalanche, so won't really bother for the Bane kill. They tried to have a go there at nothing to say in the mid lane on the Alchemist, but they don't actually end up catching him out either. And although his farm isn't amazing quite yet, you definitely want to try and shut down this Alk as best you can this early on. Because he's going to start farming up stacks like this with the Chemical Rage and the Acid Spray, and there's just not much you can do about it. They do make a little rotation there with the Tiny, but he gets scanned out immediately, and nothing to say understands who's around the area. Looks like YG is just going to try and steal some uh, some creeps off, nothing to say. And that will just mean he just returns back into the mid lane and starts farming up there instead. Yeah, uh, the one thing for new B is that with all these bounty runes they took earlier on and securing those areas right before they come out, it does slow down the alchemist timing as well. He kind of relies on that to feed off onto his grievous greed. So again, that just means that it plays into the fact that nothing to see has been running a bit slow and Mushi, oh no. Gets caught out mid lane, does end up going down as triple C. No need to commit the ultimate for that one. We end up finding that T1 mid tower as well fairly early on. As to be expected when he was up against an alchemist, he was going to pressure that T1 quite hard and does do so. And yeah, so again, nah. It's, it's a fairly good start again, once again, for newbie. Oh, excuse me. Um, you do see nothing to say again, slowing down. He is going for that Radiance build this time around. So he is going to go for a bit of a slower kind of build up on the Alk instead of going for that 
early aggression we have seen co a couple of times, which could work out as long as Raven does kind of take over in terms of that aggression as well. And it does look like we will be seeing that from Raven. He's working on drums for himself, which means he's not going for something like the usual Battle Fury or Yasha buildup. So he's going to be set to try to apply pressure on this map, buying space for that. Ah! Now, key thing is if that will pay off in the long term into that late game. I'm actually not too sure. It really depends on how Raven does itemize as the game goes on. But so far, he is having a good time in this sort of a laning phase right now. Mid lane. Spot out Zephyr. Nice avalanche there. And toss back from YG. S triple C. A very easy stun setup. Although Nightmare does come out from Mushi, but it is too late. YG can't really stop this Bane from running away now, but they got the kill they came for. So that'll make it a 1 to 3. Again, the rest of Newbie just happily farming up. No need for them to rush. Raven is basically doing the same on the Jug. And of course, nothing to say is doing the same on the Alchemist. And he is at the top of the net worth. Mind you though, we are 9.5 minutes in now. He's only 500 gold ahead of the Lena. And that is not saying much. Considering the, uh, considering it is an alchemist after all, it is not the biggest of leads. Like, you definitely hope for a bit more out of this alk. Yeah, we have seen this a couple of times with this here. It's just a rough start means your lead is not that big. Where it starts to get worrying is if we approach the mid game and say, and I think to say has a 5k lead. Even if he has that, but you're still seeing Geek Fam drop fights, that's a very telling sign that the transition to mid game is not going well. Oh, Awen, bot lane, getting a caught out, Arena of Blood will be thrown down though. Oh, that spear. Not sure about that one. Awen, he'll end up running to the wall anyway. They will also find Mushi on the other side of the map. So, a one-for-one -one trade though, it does seem like Geek Fam do come out on top. Of course, they do find that core darks here. One, the one positive though from Newbie though is they are going to be able to go and get a T1 top tower out of this. Whereas Geek Fam not really in position quite yet to go for the T1 tower down at the bot lane. Yeah, again, that's a bit of a boon here for UB, taking a bit more control on that map. They have some pretty good wards to watch out for this push as well. So it should be a fairly safe time for them, although they are just playing it kind of safe. Wait for their siege tree to come in, get that push going again, and slowly but surely, this tower is not going to be standing for too long. Well, Velo, going to try and defend with those spears, but they, it is rather successful. They can't really take the towers that that quickly on the side of UB. Not quite yet, anyway. More time they can buy on the side of Geek Fam, the better. Nothing to say now. At 6.2k net worth and climbing rather quickly. He's going to have that Sacred Relic up soon, and that'll mean the full Radiance for himself. Well, top lane, Velo ends up falling. Static Storm was committed. Fenry actually picking up that kill, and now they'll go straight after that T1 tower again. Yeah, and this time around, it should definitely just fall. That was the first Static Storm of the game. That was a pretty nice glimpse back as well. They just use it. First down one hero, take that tier one, and probably pull back here, get some farm going again for themselves. Maybe I'd say it's at this point where you start to wish that newbie is paying more attention to nothing to say. He is going to be approaching that Radiance fairly quickly, just about 700 gold behind. DP in from Bello, Knights Arena of Blood with the Fisher. All of them trapped in, now the Echo as well. What a setup coming out. Although, is it enough? They haven't taken anyone out yet. Mushi, he walks in. He has the Fiend Script and is forced to commit it for this Tiny Kill. The perfect setup, but it does not work out as well as you would have hoped. Now Raven bot lane as well, getting caught out by Gia. And is basically dead, although nice spin away, it will not be enough. I mean, that arena of blood into the Echo. Again, John, I thought it was going to be more than enough to get the job done, but... UB, apparently a lot further ahead than we would have expected. I mean, that Echo Slam onto Tree looked great. It's just that right now, you're not doing too much damage. That's the Shaker. And even with that, you know, even with that support there, with that setup from the Morris... The damage is just not there. We saw a new B drop fairly low. The cleanup was impossible. You really need more people on your side to get those kills done. And we do see that potential again from Geek Fam to take these big team fights if everyone's grouped up. It needs a little bit more time, a little bit more um, heat 
on the stove to get cooked. I mean, it's not quite there yet. It's not well done yet. A bot lane. T1 does end up going down. Of course, we do have the Radiance now up on nothing to say, but that's only going to mean more farming for him. Bot lane. Raven in a position to go on Gia Gia. So, doesn't really have lockdown by himself, and the rest of the UB are there to help if necessary. UB are the ones trying to find those team fights. Geek fam do want to be the ones to reinitiate. Arena Flood is available. The Velo won't throw out the arena quite yet, and that'll be enough for UB to back off to safety. Yeah, while well, all of this is happening, we take a look. Nothing to say is actually farming that top jungle, so. He is really maximizing the space that GeekFam is giving him, and he is certainly working that well into his net worth. 3k ahead now of the Ember Spirit, and that lead is just going to widen more and more as he goes into that traditional build, going into that Mantis style next. Oh. Arena of Bloodbot lane, they have found out the Disruptor. They will be able to take him down very easily. Venrir was not able to sustain that damage. Meanwhile though, a wall was dropped by Awen. Oh, the Miz, there was a Fiend Script there. Onto Gia. Now the rest of Geek Fam looking for another team fight. There is a stun coming in from nothing to say though. He's got to throw it out. He does do so. Who have they found? It is Wei Ji on the tiny. Another nice kill coming out for Geek Fam. They will find two on the side of Newbie for the price of one. That'll be pretty yeah. much the end of that. But I, you are pretty happy though if you are the side of Geek Fam. Definitely so. You take out two kills in comparison to one. Sure, um, those are all just support trades, but you know you are starting to find your grip on this game. You're starting to force Newbie into a bit of a rough spot. Newbie needs a lot more to get online, although Mushi. Yeah, getting caught out, and well, Gia Gia, very easy kill there for him. He'll go ahead and claim those boundaries up at the top lane. Meanwhile, though, bot lane, Omni Slash being committed. S Triple C is in a lot of trouble. He tries to juke out the spin, but will not be successful in doing so. At the very least, he did find Velo before he died. So there is that, but still, his life going to the way of Raven, not going to be the greatest of news. Yeah, definitely not. That's not what you want to see coming out here for a newbie. You really need to protect SCCC, make sure he has the farm he wants. And he's kind of tapered off just a bit, 800 gold behind Raven now. He has been much more active in that map though. But you want your Luna, your Lena, to be able to have those items to help her with that burst. Gonna need that Shadow Blade up soon to get that good jump, good initiation in. Raven, spin TP down at the bot lane. Be able to pull it off very easily as well. UB again, they're the ones that want to be the aggressors. They want to find some targets to take down right now. They don't want to go into the late game up against Geek Fam. Who do they find though? Rushi again. May get caught out, but he does run towards the west side of the map and will be okay. Zephyr on that Earthshaker, John, getting very close to that Blink Dagger now as well. So you're going to have that initiation and counter initiation from Zephyr very, very soon. And that's a very scary thing when you hop against an Earthshaker when he's got that Blink up. It certainly right. is. Like we've we've seen a lot of games turn around on that blink timing on these position fours, and you know, Velo uh, Sephir actually finding that decent timing just about 300, 400 gold away. Once that's up, he Geek Fam should be able to set the pace in this game. Although it does look like New B is not wasting any time. They smoke up. They're gonna try to find something. Will. Mushi, oh he breaks the smoke for the team, so Mushi probably will end up dying, but it'll be well worth it. Nothing to say, actually thinking about going in, in fact he does, the stun does land on Gia. He has plenty of ways to get out of this one though, and the spear will not connect from Bello. Meanwhile, the rest of Newbie trying to find Zephyr. Zephyr, he doesn't have that blink yet anyway, so it's not like he could really counter-initiate. I still think if you're Geek Fam, you probably won't be too unhappy about losing Mushi there. Of course, you could have lost a lot more from that smoke rotation from Newbie. They'll probably just be satisfied they only lost that position 5 Bane. Yeah, it's not the biggest loss in the world that was a smoke committed for. What is your POS 5, POS 6 at this point? And not going to be too unhappy. Again, you have heroes making use of that space quite well. And I can say is farming up quite nicely. Raven is making use of this space massively as well. Going to be picking up that Diffusal Blade right after finishing that Yasha. 
So he's going to be online fairly quick, and we should start seeing more activity from Raven as this game goes on, of course. I think after this defusal, it's going to be the timing. Once he has that item, you know, Geek Fam should be in a spot where they can actually take these team fights, because that also means that, you know, Sephir has his blink up now. Mid lane, nothing to say, does get spotted. Mushi is on the side though. Looks like the side of Geek Fam do actually want to fight if Newbie are willing to jump them. Again, Mushi just waiting for the right target to throw the Fiend's Grip out on. Fenrir, oh, he gets Fiend's Grip straight away. Now Raven will jump in with the spin. They even found the Lena. That's a massive kill on S Triple C. Fenrir ends up going down as well. And with that, a tier one mid tower going to be going down. Geek Fam finding their footing in this game number two. And UB with this kind of draft, can't really afford to fall behind like this, but it looks like this could be the start of that happening. Yeah, and they don't really have the best catch-up mechanics as well. Like once the snowball starts turning for Geek Fam, your response is not amazing. You're going to be relying on that perfect initiation from Awen, and we haven't seen him land that magical, huge wall vac yet. That vac wall combo, not really working out just yet for New B. And as this game goes on, though, he will be relying on that because their scalability is limited. The Ember can only do so much unless he starts building Divine Rapiers, which is when he spikes up massively again. But that's a very all-in move. Of course, you're not be, you're not going to be counting on the game to go that late. So the power spikes of the Ember will kind of taper off and simmer down. Whereas for Geek Fam, it will just keep building up. The Alchemist will start gifting Ags to everyone else after he gets himself 7-slotted. The Jug as well can be able to farm up and scale much better. So there is a timer on UB. Oh, they found YG at the bot lane as well. And well, nice avalanche toss. He actually gets Mushi with that as well. Fisher is there. Now the echo coming in from Zephyr into the Omni Slash. Can they actually deal the damage though? Why is he still alive? And Gia Gia as well. Gonna run out of there. Velo, what the hell are you doing there, sir? <laughs> that was that was strange. Um, it looked like it's gonna be great again onto Wazy and and our uh, Gia Gia, but in the end, the Echo Slam committed. You know, they threw everything out, the Omni Slash as well. The damage was just not there yet. And it it's just strange to see that they commit so much again. This is probably the second time we've seen that Echo Slam come out to no effect. That was, I believe as well, the Blink reveal coming out. Now Smoke mid lane, Raven gets caught out, YG. He had a Blink of his own, now the Glimpse into the Static Storm. He needed to spin and he does not have it. That is a massive pick up there from New B, and it looks like they don't plan to stop anytime soon. They start moving forward, trying to find another pick on the high ground. They won't find one. They don't opt to go after that tier 2 mid tower either, though they may reinitiate now, seeing Mushi in that mid lane. But no, instead, they'll actually go ahead and clear out that jungle. It looks like they thought nothing to say was going to be around here somewhere, but that is not the case. Yeah, and even then, even if they don't transition to that objective again, just getting Raven dead is massive in and of itself. This guy has been left unchecked for quite a fair bit. So slowing down that core that doesn't accelerate like the Alk, but is still very pivotal to the timings of this game is great news for Newbie. Again, they have a bit of a timer in their head. They want to slow down the cam as much as they can, try to get their own advantage up, and they are falling a bit behind. 1k lead for Geek Fam, but that is really just riding off the back of nothing to say. He's at 17k net worth. Next closest here is that Embry Spirit at 10k, so you are seeing that Alk effect kick in. Double damage room being picked up by nothing to say. Does get scattered out by Gia Gia, although they jump in. Fisher is there. Does he have a remnant to go back to? It looks like he does because he moves forward. Doesn't really get any chains off. And... Well, that'll be the end of that. I thought perhaps Geek Fam might jump in after that Ember. Assuming they have that double damage available on Nothing to Say, but perhaps he's just not feeling as confident as you would hope quite yet on that Alchemist and opts to just back off and get back to farming. I think that's a fair move to make, um, especially when you go this build with the uh, Alk. Did he just buy out an Agonus? Uh, no, I, I believe he, he bought the Soul Booster. Oh, okay. So, probably just a visual slip-up. 
But yeah, when when you build your uh, alchemist like this, um, when you go with this kind of build, doing that old split push with the octarine, you can't really fight too early on. And I think that's a fair move to make. It takes a while compared to the fighting builds we see with S and Y. That comes online fast. New beat, smoke up, run in, and Velo. We get caught out with the toss. Now the line strike ray as well, and the Laguna. Burst him down though, nothing to say. Jumps in as well. There's the back wall being thrown out. Mushi, Fiend Script being cancelled off. Static Storm was there, and now they found the elk. Has he got anywhere to go? The answer is absolutely not. He mantles up. It's not going to be enough though. Triple kill coming out from S Triple C. Geek Fam, they do manage to get the Ember at the very least. So Gia Gia moving a bit too forward and getting taken down by Raven. But it is certainly a nice win coming out from UB. It definitely is. They find the biggest target in the map, slowing down that Alk and getting a lot of gold back for themselves. They're forced to buy back out from Mushi again. We saw this almost in game one as well. He does that same move, buybacks immediately. Nothing happens. And I think, you know, you got to simmer down just a bit there. You're expending gold that you barely have anymore at this point. Um, probably need to just take it slowly. You know, Newbie was going to pull out there. They did blow all their ultimates as well. And they lost their ember. So there was no opportunity for Newbie to re-engage. Geek fam probably just had to chill out a bit. You didn't lose Raven there. In fact, he got a kill for himself. Right off the back of that for the next, you know, for the next half minute where you're kind of vulnerable. And once nothing to say is back up, then you just go back to doing what you were doing. Of course, it does seem like we we are, do have a bit of a disconnection here from Mushi. Was a couple connection issues going on from Geek Fam. And see how long it does last. Get rid of that jug. I mean, Raven. He's still doing very well in farm. If you if you consider the fact that he's third, only to the Alchemist and the Ember, but it is still a bit underwhelming. He opted for that Diffusal Blade build, and he is going into the Manta next, but one of the problems with these builds are the Omni Slash doesn't really get maximized. You don't have the added bonus of the attack speed. He is eventually going into the Maelstrom, it seems, so you will have the Mjolnir later on to really assist with that, but... See how long Yubi allows him to farm up like this. Oh. Is he even going to get to the point where he does pick up that Mjolnir? Yeah, it does look like Newbie understands that, that, again, they have a bit of a timer to play around with. There's only so long your Ember is going to be effective. There's only so long your Lina's going to be effective. You really need to start getting more objectives. And the fact that Newbie hasn't actually gained anything from these fights in terms of map control is actually kind of worrying for me. Because that just means Geek Fam, again, still has the space to farm up. Still has that control in their jungle where they can safely send nothing to say and raven and once these guys build up again you know newbie by the 35 to 40 minute mark they're not going to be able to pump out as much damage as they are right now newbie do still appear very confident they are just farming up on gog right now and he's trying to go ahead and pick himself up a bkb let's have 3.6k in the bank so he's getting rather close to that item pickup I think well, an Echo Saber coming out for YG now on the Courier. What an interesting pick. I mean, considering it is a position 4 Tiny that we're seeing. But it looks like he is planning to transition to a bit of a core on the Tiny. Yeah, I think you really need that. Again, you just lack scalability into that late game. On these cores, the Ember Spirit relies on that magical burst early on. And with the way they have itemized on Gia Gia, it does look like he's kind of stuck there for a while. So you need a way of getting a hero that still pumps out damage as this game goes on. The Tiny is okay for that. He's not amazing, but he certainly does a decent enough job that it will kind of supplement what you have right now. Most call there from nothing to say. Almost getting caught out by the Dyer's side, but he does back out in time. I have a quick look at the uh, win probability, and it is actually slightly in the way of Geek Fam still. 52% their way, 48% the way of Newbie. Fair enough. A very close game indeed. Velo looks to jump in. He sees S Triple C, but doesn't throw out the Arena of Blood. S Triple C does have 
a 9 second BKB charge available anyway, so he could have ran out, but nothing to say now. Looking to jump in, but a slight of fist dodge from Gia Gia. They were waiting for it, and now the line strike ray as well. Velo, he is gone. He drops the arena, but what does it matter when you have no follow-up? He was just trying to protect his teammates in the end. But did you see that, that unstable concoction dodge from Gia Gia? He oh, yeah. knew it was coming. Oh, yeah. That, that's the one thing, right, when you jump into that ember. Th this is what we always tend to say when the ember spirits in that game. You need a form of hard lockdown to start that fight. You need it to maybe start it with the Fiend's Grip first. You really can't start these fights with the Elm. There's just way too many openings, way too many ways for Gia Gia to dodge that. So uh, it's not the safest way. Sure, you can maybe catch him out, but you cannot rely on that. Gia Gia. As long as that sleight of fist is up, he will be able to dodge a lot of spells. The Geek fam, they might be there just in time for the Roshan, but no. S-Triple-C picks it up, and now nothing to say. Jumps in with a nice double stun, and now the Echo from Zephyr. They'll burst down a win at the very least, but can they get more? Wei Ji actually going to take down Zephyr himself. Now the Omni going through the Lina. It will take down Fenry, and they have found S-Triple-C. He does have the Aegis, mind you. Can they take him out a second time? Where's the help for S-Triple-C? It's not even there. He'll just BKTP away and... Oh, that's a lot Ooh, of damage. God. Damn. Not quite enough in the end, but my goodness, you can't really rely on that BKB TP any longer if you're S-Triple-C. Now, unstable really concoction. Gia Gia doesn't dodge it. The Fissure was there in time to block the slide of this. Now he BKBs up, but... Was that a 10 second charge? No, it was a 9 second BKB charge being expended to get away. Geek fam. Finding quite a bit out of newbie in that engagement. They definitely do. They take out that Aegis, which was freshly taken by newbie. So they don't have that option. They do expend a lot of ultimates for that. Newbie has it. Like they have wall backup. They have the static storm backup. They have all these options to take these fights now. And if you're a newbie, this is a massive opening for you. Um, taking a look at Geek Fam right now. I mean, funny enough, newbie has uh, less than 1k network lead, despite having the Alchemist being at least 9k gold ahead of the next hero on UB. Even despite that 9k lead on the Alk, UB still has a slight network lead. So it's not actually a very clean ride for Geek Fam right now. They have a couple of issues they have to sort out with. I think one thing is that Mars doesn't have the farm he needs to be really effective at this point in the game. And you need a lot more in Raven as well to be truly online. Ooh, they caught another one mid lane, and that is going to be A when he gets perma stun basically. Arena of Blood being dropped as well. He is pretty tanky though. The wall, the vac is there. YG was asking for the vac into the avalanche, and they're going to go for more now. They won't find the secondary target, but still a very nice pick off there for the side of Geek Fam. And you beat, they can't afford to get caught out like that. Yeah, they really can't. They depend on that Dark Seer again to get their damage out at this point while waiting for the Tiny to get a bit bigger. They need that back wall to take these team fights, and without that, it's a pretty safe push coming out from Geek Fam. Should be able to take that tier 2 up top. No contest at all. Certainly not. You're in this awkward position now, if you're on the side of new B, where you're starting to kind of drop off a bit. S triple C, you can already see him trying to go for that right click build on the Lena. This has the uh, the demon edge, just needs the recipe for the Daedalus, but are they, are they going to have it quick enough? Look over to that jug as well, Raven. He's been farming up very well, only second in net worth, only to his alchemist. Now, you do see SCCC slightly over overtake, but this junk has gone to that point where he's rather scary. YG tries to cancel the spin TP, but it's perhaps hoping for that final tick before the uh, before the TP actually went off. It was not so lucky. Hmm. Bello and Zephyr sitting on a cliff together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, interesting spot to be in. That's just, just hanging around, chilling. Showing off that they can both blink onto the cliff, finally. Velo. <laughs> Very happy about that. B. Again, this awkward position for them where they just... They gotta keep farming up. But you're versing an alchemist in the end. He's gonna start pumping out Aghanim Scepters eventually. 
There's uh, quite a few heroes on the side of Newbie that would appreciate those acts. Whenever he's ready. I mean, eventually. He still has to finish up that Abyssal, of course. That's going to give him all the control he needs. Although, what do you really slot out for that Abyssal? Like, you be. Oh, do you... Hmm. Smoke up. They are going to run straight into Geek Fam. Oh, they're going to find nothing to say. That is the biggest target they wanted. The Avalanche toss into the wall as well. The BKB is there from nothing to say, and he survives it. Now the Fisher comes out. He TPs away safely. They are going to be able to find Zephyr surely by himself. It looks like they will, but... Pretty big shame there. They caught out nothing to say by himself. They just didn't have the lockdown necessary to really burst him out. Uh, one thing that really, really makes me wonder about uh, Newbie right now is the fact that none of them has that Spirit Vessel into Urn. Um, I mean, Urn into Spirit Vessel. You really need that to slow down the regen from this Alk. It's something we talk about really a lot when this hero comes out, being countered by that fairly cheap upgrade, and it's not really there yet for a new beam. Perhaps they don't think they need it. I think after an engagement like that where you could easily kill that elk, if not having to eat through his regen, you definitely start to question whether or not someone picks it up. And well, they do have it, That's going to be key. Oh. Fenry does have it. I know it's unexpected because usually you'd see it on the position four, but Fenry does have it. I don't yeah, I believe he wasn't... got it. I don't believe he got it off though. In fairness, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it definitely didn't seem like he used it there. So we really need to make use of that on the Alk every single time. We do see the Ember Spirit Ags come out as well. So you have a lot more to do with your Fire Remnants now, and that is going to be very interesting to see as well. You also have the Ags on nothing to say. Who does he give it to? I thought he was going to go for the Abyssal first, but no, he'll give the Axe to the Earthshaker. Probably the best option for him, apart from maybe Raven on that uh, on that Jug, and they are going to jump in straight away. YG going to be the easy target, though. No, he'll blink out in time. But they are still moving forward, Velo. Jumps in, nice spear, he will trap YG in. They're not going to take a team fight here to protect YG, surely. Although, no, Awen going for a vac, but doesn't find anybody. YG still falling and does go down. Now they jump in after he's dead. Gia Gia trying to find three targets at once. He'll get Zephyr, he'll get Mushi as well. Oh, the remnants, just so much damage in that little space. And I thought that wasn't a great idea for, from the side of Newbie to jump back in. But YG, he just bought back. They wanted to jump in straight after, and it does end up paying off, it seems. In fact, SCCC now looking for nothing to say. Chemical Rage and Unstable Concoction being popped, though. He will stun himself. Now, SCCC, Laguna Blade. He's going to take out this Alk oh, by God. himself. BKB being popped. It won't matter, though. The Daedalus damage, and they found even more. Velo, he gets caught with his pants down once again, and he is dead. Oh, Geek Fam, what have you done? They're just being cleaned up one by one. Raven's the only guy to get away, really. And with that, you're probably going to lose this uh, tier 2. No, it's cutting right in uh, just to cut that wave off. But yeah, they're going to lose this tier 2 up top. Possibly more objectives. I'm not sure if you're really going to push your luck here if you're UB. Most of your spells are in cooldown, except for that statics one. Feels like they can, though. I mean, the Alchemist is down for another 45 seconds. No buyback available on him. They saw how much of a struggle this game's been recently, so why not just go for it while you can? Looks like that is going to be the game plan, at least T3 tower. Uh, Gia Gia. Taking bounty runes while he's stopped there. And I think they also have enough time for Arax, because Geek Fam, they have not come back to defend. Without that Alchemist, they don't bother. Oh no, Arena of Blood comes down, but immediate BKB from SCCC and Velo. He is by himself right now. None of the rest of his team were really there. Raven, Zephyr, they just got there. They're going to still go for this team fight. The buyback was there from Velo, and now Raven doing a lot of damage on Fenrir, but they've lost Zephyr. And SCCC just man-fighting this jug. In fact, Raven, he can't afford to go down like this, but he does. He does have buyback available, but what is this team fight Geek Fam's taking? Nothing to say. By himself once again, the rest of his team not even nearby. Can they stun him up? Fenry doesn't find him. Doesn't even have the mana for the glimpse even if he wanted to. They'll get Mushi anyway though. He TPs in as well. It, oh, glimpse? Nothing to say. Blinks forward. Throws out the stun. They 
at the very least, they don't lose any more than what they had already lost, which is the top racks. But that could have been a hell of a lot worse had they lost that alchemist again. Yeah, it would have been just just gone at that point. Like if you if you lose nothing to say again, it would have been really hard to even get a grip there. They already expended a buyback on Raven as well. Like that that was a really massive win for Newbie. They take out key objectives, they force the buybacks out from the Mars and the Jug. That does open up that next push for them quite nicely. The Roche will be up in 20 seconds as well. So if uh, Newbie does spot that out, they'll, they're going to have all the tools they need to siege that high ground really cleanly. What can Geek Fam do? Raven, he just gets back to farming on that jug. He's almost got the full Mjolnir up. Yeah. The new B now in position to be the aggressors once again. 8k ahead in terms of net worth. And they look to jump once again with YG. Mushi. Gonna be okay. Yeah. to say going back to the abyssal blade now so arguably going for that aghanim scepter upgrade on zephyr may have been a pretty big mistake a lot of gold expended just for that that upgrade but i feel like that abyssal blade may have been a lot more useful for the team definitely would have again if the alk is able to get in front get that control going get that immediate stun on gia gia you wouldn't have this this issue gia gia with his remnant spam with all the damage it does now is really the guy that is keeping newbie in this game he's just pumping out all that damage along with sccc's lena and they do burst down the back line quite fast they isolate your cores and then after that it's very easy cleanup for the side of newbie raywood gets fished up they're gonna actually jump in perhaps bello thinking about throwing the arena out a lot of hesitation from Geek Fam, they won't do it. Yeah, yeah, you can see him down at the bot lane just pushing out. So they knew the Ember wasn't really around, but he can always remnant it back in. Bello. Throws out a spear though. YG ends up fighting Mushi, though. Nice Fisher will save Mushi for the moment. Now the glimpse back. Arena of Blood. And well, the static storm into the vac from Awen. They found Bello once again. Mushi's already down. Can they find this Mars? Well, there is an Omni Slash burning through Awen right now, but it's not really that much damage. Here comes Gia Chia, and he's going to just shut a hell of a lot with YG. Nothing to say. Being trapped in by himself. He does have the stun available. Raven, he's going to go down to S Triple C. There's the only one left is the Alchemist. It won't even matter. He's gone. An awkward team fight. It didn't really look like it was going either way, but you know once Gia Gia jumps back in, that damage that he pumps out on the Ember Spirit is just so much more than anybody else, it seems. Courier gets sniped. I'm not sure why you'd send it out right now. Geek fam, I mean, Nothing they only... He, he has his work cut out for him. <laughs> just, just him and his two supports coming online anytime soon the defense this is almost looking like game one almost how that game closed out although it does look like newbie will just pull back maybe go for that roche first so a bit of a safer play for them wow jesus that remnant toss out <laughs> <laughs> that's just that is hilarious <laughs> looks so janky still a very conservative play here from newbie I mean, they claimed the range racks as well. You think they would have gone for the melee barracks first, but perhaps not realizing that the oh, oh. Zephyr oh, okay. goes down to Gia Gia. He just goes and takes out the Earthshaker himself. Now S Triple C has the uh, the Aegis available. They have the cheese there on YG. Where's the? Was that the th was that not the third Roshan of the game? I, I swear it was, but apparently it was just the second, I guess. I, I thought it would be the third. Yes, yes, Triple C has a Divine Rapier now, by the way. <laughs> no wonder. Uh, I was wondering where all this damage was coming from. He 
just picked it up, and he just burst down the t the uh, the racks. He's bursting down the T4 tower. Though they are making a jump. Though YG found Mushi. Now Velo gets chained up again. G and G are gonna force his way into Velo. They just can't catch him. Mushi's gone as well. S Triple C is hitting so hard right now. You just can't take a team fight up against New B at the moment. Oh no, the chains is there. Nothing to say as well. It does have unstable concoction. Well. What do you do if you're Geek Fam? They're going to try one more time, but S Triple C just... Oh, actually, a lot of damage from nothing to say. It won't be enough. Meanwhile, the Jug in the backline is trying to go after Fenry, but can't even find that. It's GG well played. Geek Fam will lose this series 0-2 to to New B. Well, I, I wouldn't go as far as saying that was a decisive win from New B.